Good evening, uh, kids, parents, and the chess teachers. In the lesson number 50, we're going to study uh, the game between Mikhail Tile and Wolfgang Ullmann, played in 1971. Now, we have a French defense. And um, there are many different moves you can play here with the white side, 93, 92, that is played in this game. Um, you can also play pawn to e5. All right, 92, uh, it looks like it's blocking the, the bishop, right? But the idea is, is to avoid this pin, right? So when you play 93, you can be pinned. And um, uh, it... Uh, it is it is a very popular move, right? That great masters like to play. C5, knight f3, 96, and bishop e5, right? So white is developing the pieces very nicely, but black is also very good here, right? Knight takes and bishop to d7. Right? Um, it's clear that. Um, um, that white has a little bit better development, but um, it's it's nothing nothing so serious and important, right? Knight queen a5, and after knight e3, um, black uh, decided uh, to take the pawn here. Knight takes d4, and bishop to b4, and this is an interesting position, right? So the reason I choose this game is because we are going to learn about um, the attack here. Now, white makes a castling and offers this pawn here. So the question is always like, do you take that pawn or not? Uh, uh, well, you will see from this game that taking the pawn was a very risky uh, decision. Uh, probably the best was uh, not to take the pawn and develop the pieces, right? Bishop takes, partner takes, and here um, black captured on c3, and you'll see that was a mistake. Right? Um, better moves are h6, right? Um, the, the stockfish likes this move, and it's, it's a very nice one. Um, now, after queen c3, um, we can we can stop here and uh, and I'm wondering um, what is the move that you would like to play, right? Think a little bit. How how do you use this advantage that you have two bishops on the board and uh, you have um, the knight in the center, right? What is the move we could play here with the white side? And that's um, uh, the genius of Mikhail Tal, you know, how how easily he could see those kind of moves. So the move is knight five, right? White is sacrificing a knight. It's clear this knight's not quite dangerous, wants to go to d6, right? So black has to capture the knight, but the king is open. See, the black is not developed, and that's a problem. Also, rook is on a8, rook e1 check. And um, bishop e6, of course, you cannot uh, block with, uh, with a knight. I'm wondering if you can find a move here for white. Okay. I'm sure you found rook e7. Right, rook x, and then uh, and then you can take on d7, and you can take on e7 as well. So you capture two pieces for a rook, and black, black is in a lost position because the rook cannot get into the game. Um, yeah, big problems with development of the pieces. So let's see um, bishop e6. And now try to find this next move. Like, wait, what do you do in this position? Because you are piece down, right? We need to play a move to attack the king. And the move is queen to d6. Excellent move. Now pay attention, the queen cannot be challenged, right? Rook d8 is not possible because you can take with a checkmate. There is a pin here. 
Um, the move of queen b4 is also not possible because you take, there's a pin. Right? So pay attention to the bishops, how powerful, strong they are. And of course, also the rook, right? Excellent. Now, a6, and um, now try to find the move here. Okay, this move, um, bishop d2, of course, is not easy to find, right? And after queen takes, how about now? What is the move you would play here with the white side? If you found bishop b4, that's great, right? Pawn takes, and uh, now we're going to the attack. I'm sure that those kind of moves you find easily. Check, and after queen a8, um, black resigned the game. There are no good moves for black. Black cannot take here because uh, the rook c1 is winning. Um, the queen, or if you want to go for a checkmate, you could play this this move and queen d6 checkmate. Right, so that's not possible. Um, and other moves also not possible, right? You cannot develop the knight, rook is hanging, and that's why black resigned the game. Let's see what are the most important moves here. I think uh, costly. <coughs> I'm sorry. Castling is very important, right? Because you're allowing bishop to take on c3, and you are sacrificing a pawn. Black needed to be really careful here and not to grab that pawn, right? But I'm glad that <laughs> black captured the pawn so we could learn so much from this game. Knight to five, wonderful move, that's important. And then I think uh, this one, Queen d6 is important, and of course, bishop d2 is the move that difficult to find. Bishop b4, look at this marvelous attack here, and white won the game. Okay, kids, I hope you enjoyed this game. Um, I'll put the link below the uh, video, and you can study a little bit on your own. See you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.